What's going on ladies and gents and welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play. Yes, we are back. Back in our lovely, lovely world. And in today's episode, it's not going to be a very long one, I apologize. I just came back from work and I don't have a bunch of time to record. But I did want to do this because it's been a few days since I last recorded um, this Minecraft Let's Play. I've recorded other stuff, of course, but it's been a little while since I recorded this, so... Let's start off this episode on a good note. Let's hope that we get a good diamond pickaxe enchantment. I got myself level 30. Alright, uh... Let's hope for the best. What? 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 What the heck's happening? What the heck is this? What? Huh? Uh... Uh, what? Oh, what? Oh, okay, I apparently need Lapis Lazuli. Okay, I guess that's one of the new snapshot updates. Uh, that's not a problem, but I guess I need to do more mining for Lapis. Alright, well that's fair. Um, also worked a little bit on the um, storage room here. And I need to work a little bit more in the basement, but... Alright, so I guess in the snapshot, I'm in... Uh, what snapshot am I in? Week... 27? Yeah, 27B. I guess you need Lapis Lazuli to to do some enchanting stuff. So let's see here. Put that there. Is it Lapis like individual Lapis? I'm very confused. Okay, so it's individual Lapis. Clearly the interface hasn't been changed yet. Um, okay, so Unbreaking 3... And breaking three. Uh, let's see here. Well, let's let's try. Oh, okay, silk touch and unbreaking three. Well, I am not complaining. That was awesome. Silk touch, good pick, good pick. That's a good way to start up an episode here. And I guess I wanted to update you guys with what's happening. With the Hall of Nooblets. We have added three in the first Hall of Nooblets. Uh, now, if you remember, the Hall of Nooblets last time was in my own house. It was like a little attachment or a separate hall. Now it's an entire mountainside, basically. Uh, it's right here. It's basically an entire mountainside. And uh, what I actually want to do is keep expanding through the mountain up and down and I uh, kind of have these structures all over the place, uh, but uh, I need to explain something first. So let's let's get into the Hall of Nooblets. I, should we call it the Mountain of Nooblets? I don't know. Maybe we should change the name to Mountain of Nooblets. Let me know if it should stay Hall of Nooblets or Mountain of Nooblets. But I need to explain one thing first. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I just noticed. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I have Unbreaking 3 Silk Touch. I used three lapis, and I only used three levels. I don't understand this new enchanting system. I'll have to look into that. My apologies, I'm very confused. But anyways, all right. What is this? What, what, what? Well, yes, so the new improvement that I wanted to add to this was that I want to have a, um, a ranking system. Now, in the last Hall of Nooblets is when you got, when you became a Hall of Nooblet, you were a Hall of Nooblet, and that's it. You were honored in, and you became an, an honorary Nooblet. However, I want an incentive for people to continue to want to thrive and to continue to be the best, I guess, a Nooblet um, in all of my, of all my subscribers. So, here we go. These are the four ranks of... Nooblets. You have the Quartz Nooblet, the Iron Nooblet, the Gold Nooblet, and the Coveted Diamond Nooblet. Now, how do you do this? Well, uh, as you know, every episode, usually every episode of the Let's Play, I ask a question, and then I induct three new um, Nooblets into the Hall of Nooblets. I keep saying Nooblets. Uh, well, you start off with one, which is the Quartz Block, and then if you get inducted again, or if you get I guess chosen again, you become iron, then you move up to gold, and when you have four comments that I think are awesome and really, really well done and and really 
well explained or well spoken, you become a Diamond Nublet. That is the ultimate rank. You are the best fan ever. <laughs> so, your goal. Get four comments. Obviously not in a row, just four comments in general. So you go from Quartz to Iron, Gold to Diamond. <sighs> Don't you want a Diamond block next to your name? Come on, that's, that's ultimate. So, here we go. I also need to clean up this place, but here we go. This is the first three. Drum roll, please. Boom. Joe Miller, Esmeralda Canales, and Minecraft Origins. So, thank you everyone who submitted their, their awesome comments last time. Uh, the last question was, what is your favorite superhero and why? I had a whole bunch of responses, and uh, a lot of them are really, really awesome. I chose th these three specifically, so I'm just going to read them out quickly. Uh, Joe Miller says... I would have to say Raven. I haven't had too much contact with comics, but I grew up on the Teen Titans and she was always my favorite for her psychic abilities. Although I did like how it seemed that you would never know whose side she was on. So I think that was pretty cool too. Raven is awesome. As Meraldo Canales said, my favorite superhero would be Iron Man because 1. He's super intelligent. 2. He's so many Iron Man suits. 3. He can be funny in the worst of times. And 4. Because he's a millionaire genius. I think that encapsulates Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, pretty darn well. And Minecraft Origins, the final, third and final inductee this episode. He's, uh, he or she states, The Amazing Spider-Man has always been my favorite because he's relatable and the story is written so well that you can imagine him being a real life person and not just some everything in the line of justice type of character. Uh, not only that, but the fact that he's a genius and a superhero with the coolest powers ever? Fantastic. But he's also kind of hated by the public to show that he's not perfect and not everyone will understand him. I think that's a pretty damn good comment. So thank you everyone who applied and uh, who left a comment last episode. And of course, we have an, a question this episode. And this episode, and this is going to be, I'm going to expand this, obviously this back wall. And we're going to induct three more nooblets or possibly, possibly someone's going to update, upgrade the rank. We'll see. We'll see. Pressure is on Joe Miller, Esmeralda Canales, and Minecraft Origins. So, what should the question be today? Hmm. Let's do something that most people relate on, alright? This is a pretty generic question. And it's because it's very wide, but I want you to... to you gotta... Uh, you gotta, uh... You gotta prove. You gotta really convince me. What is your favorite animal... And why? Now I know it's pretty generic, but that leaves you with a lot of options to really, really convince me and prove that, you know, this animal specifically, whatever it may be, is the best, and this is why. So um, I'm gonna have to keep this episode fairly short. Again, I don't have too much time, but this is the new Hall of Nublets or Mountain of Nublets. Uh, this is the ranking system, and. Yeah, I think next episode what we're planning to do is I'm going to hopefully find another fortress uh, off screen. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. And then we will go explore that, get some blazes, get those potions going, nether wart farm, etc, etc. But that about wraps this episode up, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button so you can be following more of this awesome content <laughs> and uh, if you did also enjoy the video you had fun you watched it for more than 20 seconds then i would appreciate if you could like the video you haven't made it this far so you might as well just like it you know click the little like button whatever and uh, leave a comment below again what is your favorite animal and why it doesn't have to be a pet it doesn't have to be a dog or a cat it can be whatever hell it can be a jaguar you know it, it could be a kimono dragon if you can convince me why, then that's that's good enough for me. So uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.